Here we go in year two. Ladies and gentlemen, the Derby is upon us yet again. Derby Day has been super exciting for everyone involved. And yet again, I'm going to drop the phone for good major. And I'm going to pick it up. And you will see my face as I react to the Kentucky Derby. They are just getting into the starting paddock as I want Angel of Empire to win this one. It's the first time I've picked the favorite in so many years. 16 years watching this on TV. Hopefully I can spend one year in Churchill Downs. And we apologize again for the blurred, uh, for the uh, fuzzy screen. It's all the TVs are here, but it's fine. Yeah, this one's been, this one I feel like has been way more controversial than all the others because... Every single one of these are scratches. Not all of them. A lot of these are scratches. Four of them were scratches. And, yeah, I don't like that tap and tries. Hopefully we're not going to get another maximum security again. That's not what either I want or all other horse racing enthusiasts want as well. Again, I want Angel of Empire. Didn't bet on anything, but... Let me zoom out. Churchill Downs, he won't set the pace in this race, or he shouldn't like he did in the UAE Derby, but you can expect Christopher Lemaire to ride him forwardly, and he should be close up. Jerry, I want to... Day in Indiana. Something like about verifying another Brad Cox trade horse. Yeah, he's so handy. I mean, he's got enough speed from the... first. Man, I just mean, it's just... This is very exciting moment. It's nice to see Japan maybe win this, but again, I want Angel of Empire... Don't really know a lot about this year's compared to last year's, especially last year. With the great uh, Rich Strike winning it all. We'd love to go to that site one day, man. No more watching TV here. I believe there could be a rainbow out here as well. To the IU graduates out there, including Anthony Leal, congratulations on graduating. It's a proud moment for all of them as it is for a lot of these horses running. And now you're going to see less TV and more of my face. Here's Larry Colmes. All right, thank you, Mike. Just a couple left to go in. Japanese runner, Mandarin Hero, taking his spot in the starting gate. Disarm steps up, and the last one will be King Russell. Just got into this race yesterday. Here we go, baby. I think this one's going to be a close one to the very end. They're all in line. We're ready for the start. Here we go. Where in the world's Angel of Empire? He's not even on the list. Listen to that crowd. I've never heard a roar like that in my life. I serious, I've never in my life. Verifying is in front. What are the odds of that? Just got to see how they're going to be in turn three. Man, are we really going to see this happen? If we get closer to the edge. Come on. Two fills is going up high. My gosh. Is this really going to happen? Where is Empire? Wow, are you kidding me? And we're getting to the closing stretch and there's a four wide in the back. No way! Is this going to be a close finish? All right. 
Wow. That was a close victory. Unreal. And for Javier Castellano, the Hall of Famer, that long-awaited Kentucky Derby on May to horse. Mage has won the Kentucky Derby. Wow. At the top of the stretch, the talent. Not surprised, but at the same time, I am for sure. Who would have ever thought this? Who would have ever thought this? Deep into the pool, he ran well, not good enough. Wow. A winning ride, a running I'm pretty shocked, but not surprised. Last year, I really was. This was a 20 to 1 odds. Oh, well. Another year. I, I, they did not start well at the paddock. That's all I have to say. There was no interference. They didn't start off well at the paddock for Angel of Empire. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Wow. Okay. Well, have a good one.